Hello folks, this is Josh from 1047. I hope you're enjoying Cyberpunk 2077 as much as I am, but maybe you're like me, uh, you're not a WASD gamer, or you just want to rebind the F key, and you're finding you can't do that from the standard built-in game window, here's how you do it. So we'll start with the remapping WASD. Also to start, uh, this is for Windows. I'm not a, a Linux or a Mac user, so uh, if you know your way around those OSs, you should be able to use uh, these files to help you out. Anyway, so you're gonna go to your users directory, uh, your name or whatever name you use, app data, local, CD project red, and then the Cyberpunk 2077 folder. You're looking for a, a file called user settings.json. Scroll down until you find settings locomotion. It's not that far down. And then you'll find the fields with forward, back, left, and right. The defaults will be WASD. I've already changed them in my, my folder. Uh, you can see they're up, down, left, and right. You can also change them to the numpad keys with the appropriate numpad two or numpad four or whatever key you want to replace them to. This is where you do it. Just have to replace those four, save the file, and you're good. Rebinding F is a little different. You're gonna have to go to your Steam library, Steam apps, common Cyberpunk R6, and then config. You're gonna find a file called input user mappings.xml. Open that up with Notepad. The previous file you could also open up with Notepad. This one is a little different because it's not just one instance of an F key. There's multiple fields where the key is set to F. So you have to find and replace each one. You can do the replace command, which is a little risky because you uh, risk, if you're not sure what you're doing, you risk overwriting your F keys, as in F1 through 12, which would be bad. So what I recommend is just going through it manually, looking for each instance of IK underscore F and replacing it with the key of your choice. And that's it. I hope you're still enjoying Cyberpunk 2077 as much as I am. It's a great game with a few UI issues that hopefully this clears up for some people.